everybody. Really excited about this latest kiln opening. Got some beautiful colors. This is crazed copper over chino on Little Loafer's white clay. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. And I got my four bowls that I'm just thrilled about. I did some glaze combinations for me, colors that I think are cool. And this is what I got. <coughs> Excuse me. The inside of this bowl was glazed with standard ceramics iron red. And all these bowls are on high water clay earthen red stoneware. Now that little bit of color you see on the rim, um, that's where the chino went over the rim a touch. Look at that gorgeous red, iron red, just beautiful. And the outside, I held it by the foot, did a little wax resist, held it by the foot and dipped it into Carla's chino. And then a little iron red on the rim, too. <clears throat> I tried to put wavy lines. I tried to give the outside of each of these bowls some kind of texture. This one is just matte black, inside and out. Again, matte black is a standard ceramic glaze. And then I gently, with a spoon, poured a little chino and poured a little chino. So it's just a very simple line across the face of the pot, the, the belly of the pot. Otherwise, it's matte black, by, again, by standard ceramic. And that chino, which turns to sort of a gold, when it's on the gold, beigey gold, when it's on the matte black. Very loose. This bowl, again, earthen red stoneware. I used colonial white on the inside. That's a Laguna glaze. And my new Turkish amber on the outside with a little bit of colonial white dipped over the rim. So, you know, I think. I put the colonial white in first, dipped it into Turkish amber, and then gave it a little bit more colonial white on the rim. Spectacular. Love it. And then, um, Red Gold by Coyote over Pippin Green by Laguna. This is what I'm looking for. The thing is, I'm putting too much on, so I get a little bit too too much on the outside. I just have to reduce it a little bit. So anyway, there's the four bowls that I love. Every one of them came out really beautiful. I'm thrilled. And like I said, these were for me. I also have some glaze tests that are pretty interesting. White, brown, and red. Same color combination. That would be red gold over Pippin green. What a difference. The white just couldn't handle it. The other two I love. Here's some color combinations that are sort of interesting. This is red gold. Red gold over goldenrod chino. And this is red gold over colonial white and red gold over matte black. All of them have potential. Look at that cool mix. But it didn't like drip all over the place. Look at that beauty. If you're looking for a gold, that looks good to me. This one is um, goldenrod chino over Mediterranean mist. Goldenrod Chino over Pippin Green, 
and then Pippin Green over Goldenrod Chino. This one looks pretty good in person, but again, it kind of dripped down too far. You don't see any of the Pippin Green. And then I just did some standard with my um, spring green and my frosted turquoise because I realized I didn't have a sample of it in my test tiles. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.